FPV Reviews and BarrowspaceIndustries.com are proud to present the release of the plans for the Gemini Version 2 Advanced FPV Plane with possible commercial application. The Version 2 design is not intended to replace the prototype. It has a 3.2 meter wingspan and is intended to provide an easy to fly, easy to build, robust, long range UAV platform for professionals and amateurs alike. Let's go over just a few of the features of the aircraft. There's a couple of payload bays in the fuselage. The large one is back here. A smaller one is just in front of the main landing gear in the belly. Um, also, there's two hard points underneath the wings that can carry anything you can plug into them or think of. It's a, it's a long duration aircraft capable of staying up for hours. The aircraft is inherently modular, so that it has a three piece wing, a two piece tail, and the tail is removable from the fuselage, also quickly uh, for field assembly. So it can actually fit in the trunk of your average car. The airplane is also designed to be field serviceable and field configurable. So you can fly, say, a mapping mission in the morning and a search and rescue mission with entirely different payloads in the afternoon. So all of this brings more accessibility and more functionality to the design. So starting here at the nose of the aircraft, the nose cone itself is removable. You can see there, and those are the parts which actuate the nose gear, which are now easily serviceable. This hatch is also removable, and this is where most of the batteries for the aircraft are stored. Removal of the side hatch on the aircraft gets you access to several key components of the aircraft. First of all, the wing center section, which normally stays attached to the aircraft, in, even during transport, can be removed from the aircraft if necessary for service, maintenance, or installation of additional equipment. There, the, there's just two screws right here and here, and removal of those will facilitate the removal of the wing center section. Here I have set up a couple of video switches for the two video systems that I'm running which are separate, redundant, and also different. Just like the Gemini prototype, I've set this aircraft up and configure it at right at the moment with a second observer camera for a search and rescue type mission. It has a 360 degree servo for pan in a 90 degree digital for tilt so it can see all the way toward the back of the aircraft in either direction and of course this is removable you could put a candy drop or a downward facing camera pod in that same area also you'll see up here we've got a pod plugged into one of the hard points in the wing and if you look up there for a moment you can see it plugged in. There's a servo here at the front which which opens and releases the door allowing whatever payload is in here to to drop out. So again this is set up for search and rescue so we could drop say a container of water or a candy bar or who knows even a rubber chicken whatever we think that the person being rescued would need. And so there's one of these on each side of the aircraft. At least that's how we have it configured right at the moment. So obviously those hard points could be used for carrying any sort of payload. Um, there's a servo connector up on top of that in, in the wing. So any of the payloads that are carried on the hard point can just be plugged in with a servo connector. And it's held in with just one screw right here. So very easy to swap out for a different payload. So this aircraft, as you can see, is just loaded with functionality. Also to make the model easier to build, we've simplified the design of the motor pods for the version 2. This motor pod is made out of quarter inch birch. 
and it's got a aluminum bracket here and what that does is make it easy to change the motor in case it were to be damaged to burn up or simply want to swap the motor with a different one also the speed controls are external here so they've got lots of cooling the the wires as well are external so the speed controller itself can be easily field swapped or field serviced or you could have access to it for programming the video transmitters are also located at the wingtips two of them so there's two video links so that keeps them far away from the other sensitive electronic equipment like the UHF receivers the wingtips as well are now made of solid pieces of balsa wood just carved into a shape so that really helps protect the wing during transport. The high aspect ratio wing features D-tube construction up to this point at which the main spar starts. There's, it's, the main spar is also reinforced with a, a carbon fiber strip top and bottom and then there's a secondary spar as well with carbon fiber strips top and bottom so it's a very strong wing and moving back here this is where the wing the outer wing section comes apart from the inner wing section so this part of the wing and the motor pod stay with the fuselage for transport and the section from here out is removed they're joined by a large carbon fiber tube. The next feature we'll be looking out of the Gemini version 2 design is this swappable payload bay. This door here can be removed and two downward facing cameras, perhaps a near infrared camera and a normal spectrum camera can be placed here for mapping missions where multi-spectral analysis is required and you could actually fit two compact DSLR cameras in this compartment. Access to the swappable bay is from the top hatch here. As soon as it's removed you have immediate access to the tray inside. This can be taken out and you have immediate access to the entire bay. So a camera tray com containing the two cameras for mapping could simply be dropped in from above and you'd be ready for takeoff. Behind this area where the tail starts to taper I've placed my two UHF receiver antennas. Also removal of this one screw right here lets you take apart the entire tail assembly off of the aircraft just like that. So there's the entire airframe broken down for transport. Now let's go out to the field and you can get a feeling for what it's like to fly the Gemini version 2. So here we are out at the field and we've got the, the aircraft set up with just the FPV cameras, the, the turret in the, in the belly of the aircraft in the swappable payload and the standard pilot's FPV camera. And we're going to send her up for a quick flight. We've got six 5,000 three-cell batteries in there only, um, even though the aircraft can carry quite a bit more. So when we go to fly the airplane, the first thing we'll notice is that the ground handling is excellent. It can turn in its own length on the ground and uh, there's a smooth transition into flight. The other thing you'll notice uh, as soon as you get in the air with the aircraft is that due to the counter rotating props there's no rolling to the left or to the right when you throttle up or throttle down due to torque. It completely cancels each other out and it very well may be the most stable airplane you've ever flown. So there's really no intimidation factor here. It's a very, very easy to fly airplane and there's really not a lot for the pilot to do in, except just maneuver the aircraft into uh, whatever position you want. So let's uh, send her up.
Okay, so we'll go for a flight together. You can work the observer camera and uh, I'll fly the airplane. Okay, so here goes the takeoff roll. And rotation, and we're off. I'll throttle back just a little bit because we're climbing pretty quickly. The water is really clear today. You can see underneath the water, you can see the, the ocean floor. Get a very predictable glide slope. Very low sink rate. We're just going to flare. Just keep pulling back and back right under the runway. As you can see, that was extremely easy. So there's really nothing to it. Just floats down the runway until she's ready to land, and it doesn't take very long until she stopped. We'll bring her in, shut off the motors, there you have it, easy as pie. We'd also like to let you know that plans are available now for the Gemini version 2 at barrowspaceindustries.com. Our good friend Wayne is also producing a laser cut kit for the Gemini version 2. Send him an email to check on pricing and availability. Thanks for watching and have a good one.